Port Shuffle dia besar sikit tapi dia uh, boleh tayangkan video MP4 tapi yang lecehnya iPod ni dia apa-apa benda nak masukkan iPod dia kena perlukan iTunes ha, itu leceh dia so itu iPod broadcast awas pun awas semua sudah um, sudah maklum broadcast ni penyiaran uh, podcast ni secara maya dan bila dia gabungkan iPod dan broadcast dipindahkan jadi podcast okey okey dan podcast ni uh, ada dua jenis ya podcast audio dan podcast video okay, hari ni kita akan fokus kepada podcast audio kerana kita hanya menggunakan audio sahaja podcast video ialah macam YouTube uh, Vimeo semua yang menggunakan video ialah video podcast tapi hari ini kita fokus kepada audio podcasting sahaja. Okey. Okey, kita akan kongsi sedikit statistik tentang podcast ya. Yang pertama, setakat tahun 2000, ini menurut kajian Apple Podcast Insight terdapat 850,000 podcast aktif di seluruh dunia. Banyak tu ya, 850,000 podcast aktif di dunia dan dengan lebih kurang 30 juta episod. It's a lot of episode, huh? so it's quite so it's quite a lot of podcast around the world to listen to. Okay, now ini berdasarkan uh, statistik di US ya, lebih daripada separuh pen, uh, pendengar di Amerika Serikat, 12 tahun ke atas mereka mendengar podcast. Jadi um, podcast ini satu avenue yang untuk menyampaikan message pendidikan anda. Yeah, so okay, okay. Uh, ada banyak sebab kenapa pen, uh, pendengar mendengar podcast. Mungkin mereka mereka ada time pass, they want to listen to new stuff and this, this want to like um, you know like um, mengisi bahasa lapang tapi mengikut kajian Statista 2019 hampir 3 per 3 daripada 4 pendengar podcast di US dengar podcast sebab mereka nak belajar benda baru oleh sebab itu podcast ni is the excellent podcast is the excellent avenue for you to learn new skills ya yeah? ok seterusnya ok dan tahukah anda Podcast juga boleh membantu anda menjana pendapatan. You can re, you can earn some revenue through podcast. But as of now in Malaysia, the possibility is not there yet. So we are waiting for it to be uh, achievable in the future. Okay. But in US, uh, this is based on the study by eMarketer, podcast advertising revenues expected to surpass $1 billion by 2021. Now, how does it work? Macam mana cara ini berfungsi ya? Uh, kadang-kadang uh, ada beberapa agensi ingin menggunakan portal anda untuk mempromot, uh, mempromosikan kepada mereka. Jadi, jadi anda akan menjadikan satu slot dan portal anda dan setiap kali portal itu dimainkan ada cas bayaran. Okay? Dan bayaran itu akan masuk ke dalam account bank anda. Okay? Tapi setakat ini uh, hanya untuk US sahaja, Malaysia belum ada lagi. Harap-harap di masa depan kita akan dapat uh, moda ini. Ya? Okey, seterusnya. Ya? 83% mendengar podcast, mendengar lebih kurang, lebih daripada tujuh jam seminggu. Ya, tujuh dan jam seminggu. Ini mengikut uh, mengikut kajian Discover Pods 2019. Okey. Uh, ini menarik ya. Ini uh, um, sepanjang bulan Mac 2020, ini adalah top 10 countries yang mendengar mana-mana podcast. And as you can see, the top of the list is South Korea, Korea Selatan. Ya, dengan 58%. Dikuti Spanyol, Sweden, Australia, Amerika Syarikat, Itali, Canada, Perancis, Jepun, Jerman dan UK. These are the top 10 countries. If you're wondering where Malaysia in this list, uh, it's probably further down the list lah. Okay, we, we do have but further down the list. It's not, we are not as active as these countries. Okay. Now, heavy, now, there are ada dua jenis pengguna ya. Yeah? Heavy users and light users. Okay, heavy users tu dia macam um, peng pendengar tegal. Maksudnya dia, dia akan dengar setiap episod tanpa gagal. ya. Dan uh, mengikut kajian uh, Nielsen Podcast 2020, heavy users atau pendengar tegal ini akan biasanya mendengar semasa mereka memandu uh, naik komputer, naik MRT ataupun semasa bekerja atau semasa mereka berjogging atau di gym. Malakala pendengar light user atau pendengar berkala biasa dengar di rumah. So inilah perbandingan antara heavy user dan light user. Okay, okay. Uh, seterusnya, um, okay. asalnya podcast ni ialah satu cara yang independen, cara bebas untuk sesetengah individu untuk mengutarakan mesej mereka. Okay, um, dan seterusnya mereka podcast juga mereka boleh membina 
community dengan like mindset, uh, pemikiran yang ataupun minat yang sama. Tetapi sekarang dewasa ini podcast ni semakin melembakan saya ni. Dan kita dapat lihat podcast dari berbagai jenis uh, kumpulan, dari individu, kumpulan, uh, syarikat, um, network, network, radio network, TV network, um, ataupun network khas untuk podcast. Selain itu juga, artis juga tak ketinggalan tengah tengah podcast iaitu komedian, uh, storyteller, artis dan lain-lain. So, so sekarang ni podcast ni semakin um, pelbagai ya. Okey, sekarang kita pergi ke, ke um, kebaikan dan ke, uh, advantage ni, advantage of podcasting ya. Baik, yang pertama. Um, yang pertama is easy to produce compared to video podcasting. Because why? You don't have to prepare camera. Because you just have to record your voice and script the it. So compared to video podcasting, is less strenuous, it's less um, less planning. Okay. Number two, uh, you are less likely to have copyright infringement. Why is that? Because all the, all of your um, material will be organic, will be original from you. So it's less likely for you to get copyright infringement. Okay. And number three, for those who you, yang kepada yang di sana yang malu untuk Uh, depan kamera, uh, join join conference pun nak tutup kamera. Uh, ini memang sangat sesuai. Sebab kenapa? Uh, audio podcast ni tidak melibatkan video. Audio saja. Jadi anda terperisah bahawa gambar anda akan dirakam. Lalu, ya? Itu adalah kebaikan dia. Okay. Keburukannya ialah audio podcast ini sebenarnya yang saya cakap dia audio kan. Dia hanya audio saja. Dia ada maka anda tidak ada backup grafik dan video untuk untuk menyerikan lagi foto anda. Jadi disebabkan ini hanya melakukan audio saja, maka anda kena uh, pandai vary your tone. Ya. Anda kena uh, mempelbagaikan bunyi anda. Sekedar kena bunyi tinggi, bunyi rendah, tengah bunyi uh, bunyi rata. Dia. Kalau bunyi rata lama-lama pendengar pun akan tidur bosan ya. Jadi anda kena pandai mempelbagaikan suara anda kejap tinggi, kejap rendah, kejap kejap cepat, kejap perlahan. Anda kena pandai pelbagai kesuaran anda bagi menarik perhatian pendengar. Dan yang ketiga, kelemahan ketiga, untuk menghasilkan podcast yang berkualiti tinggi, anda kena membelanjakan duit. Ya. Yeah? Um, okay. um, kalau anda pergi ke Lazada dan Shopee, mic dan kondensor paling murah sekalipun, anda kena spend beratus ringgit. Dan kalau kamu nak um, kondenser dan mic yang kualiti setuju rakaman, uh, recording setuju punya kualiti, uh, you have to spend thousands. And I, I believe many of us are working class citizens, we can't afford to pay thousands for uh, appliances, right? So the next best thing is you use a microphone. Uh, use our handphone. Because handphone already have a very good microphone. Okay? Alright. So any questions so far? Ada soalan tak? Any question? If no question, uh, so can I continue? So far, so good. Okay. Cikgu Yuma. Okay. Yeah, I think, yeah. Let's go to the tips for podcasting. Sorry, kami ni, sorry. Yeah, uh, tak ada soalan. So, uh, I think, yeah, you can proceed to tips untuk podcasting. Okay, alright. Thank you. Okay. Um, so, I continue with tips of podcasting. Okay. Untuk merasakan episode podcast ni, ada sedikit um, ada sedikit petua ya. Yang pertama, prepare a script. Now, why are okay, kenapa script itu penting? Sebab yang pertama, tak ada kamera. Orang tak akan tengok anda. Ya, yeah? jadi anda cuma ada mikrofon saja. Tapi bila anda gunakan bila ada rakam audio, anda kena pastikan percakapan anda jelas. Clear clear and no stammering. Because like um, Occasional okay, stammer is fine, but let's say if you like proceed stammer every five to ten minutes, then it will be irritating to the listeners. So to prevent all that, request it. Okay, I will show you. I will show you the script template for my podcast because every every time before uh, I prepare my podcast episode, I have to prepare a script. It's a very important step. Prepare a script. It's just like preparing an essay or speech for your um. For your speech, yeah? prepare a script for speech. That's number one. Prepare a script. Very important. Number two, choose a quiet environment. Pilih perceraian yang senyap, kurang bising dan bukan sesak. Ya? Uh, bukan yang terpaksa. So, um, so um, recording your podcast in a crowded area, a lot of people passing by, 
noisy area, that is the very wrong place to record a podcast. It's supposed to record a podcast at a uh, at a very quiet place. Like for me here, I I choose the computer room because there's no one here. Let's see if I if I do if I record my my episode in the staff room, it's a big no-no. Because why people be around, they be talking too hard. So the quality of the audio, it will affect the quality of the audio. The audio will be very uh, bad. Okay. So choose a quiet environment. Very important. Number three. Now, now as I mentioned, since all of us are working for citizen, we can't afford to spend thousands for mic, microphone, condenser. We only have handphone. So if you're using handphone, you can use a thing called a pop filter. Now, what's the pop filter? Pop filter is like a um, macam satu papan filter filtering the pop sound because sometimes when you like too close to mic, like, right? Pop pop sound, right? So to avoid that, you can use a pop filter. But, but let's say if you can't afford a pop filter, the simple tip is that is try to keep the phone, try to keep the amount as close to the phone as is here. Yeah. A distance about six inches is just nice. Not too close, not too far. Okay, about six inches distance is just nice. This is to ensure you are using a very, uh, you ensure your audio quality is good. And lastly, this is a very obvious tip. You have to make sure you, you might have to have a very stable internet connection. Uh, if you're using mobile data, you have to make sure the mo mobile data is um, data enough um, and the speed is good. Because uh, low speed, uh, 3G speed is not encourageable because uh, it will affect the uploading rate of your podcast. Because in the end, you have to upload the podcast to the local platform. Then the people can listen to your podcast. Okay, right. So, okay, so we have done uh, first stage. So far, any question? Any question so far? If no, um, I'll continue to the second second phase. Yeah. Okay. Uh, I will go to the the checklist process. Huh? Okay, so now we will see uh, we, we will see the checklist for how to set up podcast. So Chek Uyuwa, I have shared the uh, document on uh, on chat. So I think I believe everybody has a copy of this uh, PDF. Oh, sorry? Okay. okay. I believe everyone has a copy of this PDF. I've shared it onto the chat. Okay, does everyone have the PDF? Yes. Okay, um, I will present the PDF right now. Okay, so, so now the first step is that, um, the first step is that to come up with the idea. So um, you have to come up with the idea. The first question is why you are starting the podcast? For what purpose? Is it for educational? Is it for leisure? Is it for political? Is it for technological? You have to set your intention. So idea is basically your intention. Hasra anda. Kenapa anda mau tinggi membuat podcast? Kalau suka-suka, nanti, uh, nanti uh, kalau uh, anda tak menetapkan idea anda yang jelas, nanti uh, penonton, pendengar anda akan feel, eh, kenapa sekejap topik ini, kita topik ini macam, eh, kita topik. So, you have to set your idea clearly. Why starting the podcast? Okay. So, once you set your purpose clearly, next will be, podcast anda pasal apa? Your podcast is about what? Let's say if you're doing a podcast about English grammar, um, you can say English grammar. Or you want to talk about history, or you want to talk about um, Malaysian, um, Malaysian history, and so on. So set your so this so this so this is set like a back like a background of your podcast. So your background is based on that. so the audience will be clear about to listen to your podcast. Okay, and thirdly, most importantly, what is the name for your podcast? Now the name, don't be too long, don't be too short, just enough to. Think, uh, attract the attention of your audience. Okay, so podcast name is obviously uh, you have to prepare a name to easier for the audience to find for your podcast. Okay, now number two. So once you have done the idea, uh, the purpose of podcast and the name of podcast, second is format. Okay, now as we see here, there are many purpose or there are many type of uh, format of podcast. Huh? 
So the first one is called the interview podcast. So this is uh, this is basically that I will interview someone, and I record the interview in an audio and upload an, the entire interview in the form of audio in the podcast. So that form is called interview podcast. Okay. Number two, uh, number two is a very favorite format for those who like to talk a lot. Solo monologue podcast format. So in this pod, in this format, you will be doing all the talking. Just you, you, you. No one else. Okay. This this is called solo podcast format. Number three, conversational or co co hosted podcast format. So over here, in this podcast, it's normal to have more than two hosts as your two hosts of podcast. Okay. So over here, um, two hosts will uh, divide their uh, task equally to um, run the podcast episode. So this format is called conversational co-hosted podcast. Number four is the panel podcast format. Now, if you're planning to pick a forum or a discussion among panel members, this is the and that it is a perfect format for you. Uh, it's the forum based, but it's based on um, audio format. Okay. Now, next one is called non-fictional storytelling podcast format. Now, um, this is for those who want to tell stories in the form of science fiction, but in audio. So you can use this format here, and next one is um, quite trending now. This is called the podcast theater podcast format. Podcast theater, okay. So podcast theater is like if you remember, if you used to listen to uh, radio, RTM, National, IFM, Middle FM. Every now and then, there's a there's a radio drama, right? There's a drama by in radio. It's the exact same thing. Podcast theater. So it's an entire drama or movie. But being said in audio, okay. And lastly, it's called the repurposed content podcast. Now, this one is like um, if you're taking content from other materials like books or any other reading materials, and you change it into a podcast. That's called repurposed content podcast. And lastly, it's like basically it's a mixture of all the podcast format that you put your own podcast format, okay. So these are these are the type of format. But normally the most Famous one, the most popular one are interview podcast, solo um, podcast, and also panel podcast. But as of now, the podcast theater is starting to be trending. Okay, all right. So you have to set the format clearly if you want to like do all the talking or you want to like converse with a group of people. You have to set the format clearly. Okay. Now, now thirdly is that you have to set how long your episode should be. Now. If you are doing a solo episode, try to make sure the solo episode must not be longer than three minutes. Why is that? If it's if we speak too long, one single voice, people will get oh no, it's only too long. People, the audience will get bored, right? So try to make sure your audience is less. Uh, try to make sure that your solo podcast is less than three minutes. The sweet spot is between ten to twenty minutes. That's a sweet spot. Now, if you are doing a interview. Then you can do thirty to one hour. But let's say if you're, if you're doing a um, podcast theater, you can do one one hour. That's fine. Okay. So you have to make sure don't talk too long, don't talk too short. Okay. All right. Now, uh, next next is that uh, how often do you want to publish your episode? Kerapan menerbitkan episode podcast. Adakah kalau anda rajin, anda boleh terbitkan setiap hari. Kalau tak, dua episode seminggu. Kalau kalau tak pun satu seminggu. Saya sangat malas. Saya hanya menyediakan satu episod dua minggu. One episod two weeks. Because I'm very lazy. <laughs> Not so lazy because I have a lot of work, so I, I can only only publish one episod every two weeks. But let's say once I'm more free, I try to publish every week. Okay. So over here you have to set your format, your the the time of your podcast, and also how often you want to upload the episod. Okay. And number three. Now number three is quite simple microphone for podcasters. Now since we are using Anchor app, we are using handphone. But let's say in the future, if you want to like you know improvise your quality, improve the quality of the podcast, you can invest in a a good microphone like Shure MV5 or Blue Yeti. This will cost about three or two or two or three thousand. This microphone alone, but the quality is very good. It's quality, I think, similar to a recording studio. But as of today. We will only be using phone. Okay, now next one, um, editing software. For now, we don't need because like editing software will be will be done by the app automatically. 
But if the organizer allow, I can do one more session on how to use editing software to edit your audio for podcast. Okay. And now uh, next step is that you have done the podcast, everything good, but you need to promote your podcast. So one way of doing that is by preparing a podcast art. It's like a picture. It's like a picture or a graphic for uh, to as a cover of your podcast. Now, to make your life easier, you can always go to Canva. And all of you know what knows Canva is. Semua orang tahu dah Canva. Canva. Okay, right. Canva. Canva. They have a ready-made podcast art template. You just have to go there and choose anyone and customize for them. Like for me, if you see my earlier um, podcast, son, huh, is a template from Canva. So it's quite easy. Okay. So you don't have to like click ahead to design uh, any uh, feature. Canva has the ready-made design template. It's easy for you. Okay. Now, after you have done. After you have done the design, next step is the fun part: recording your first episode. Okay, so this is where your script is very important. Write a script for your first episode. Okay, and then after that, once you have your script ready, choose a quiet place to record, and then find the sweet spot to speak and record. As I, as I said just now, for the phone, right? Don't speak too close. Don't speak too far. It must be at least six inches gap. Six inches gap from the microphone. Okay. And um, yeah, after that, um, theme song you don't need because as I said, Anchor has a has a lot of uh, copyright theme music. I will show in a while. I will demonstrate the app in a while. So yeah, I think that those are the steps on how to um, prepare your podcast. So once you launch it, you can always share it to your Facebook, all your social media, and and then promote it to your all your friends and students. Okay. So those are the simple checklist on how to prepare the podcast. Um, any questions so far? No questions. Ah, uh, so far, check who you are. Okay. All right. Okay. 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 That's so good. So I think. I think. I think no question is. I think. I think. All are. Okay. Well, well, well. Maybe they want. Uh, okay. So I think. Uh, we need to forward to the hands-on session with you. Oh. Okay. Okay. Oh, okay. 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 So I think doctor, I think now we can revert to my phone. I'm presenting on phone after this. Uh, I think I can I can present on the phone. Okay. Can you please allow my phone to present, please? Okay. Uh, so so I shall uh, I shall pass the presenter over to your phone. Yeah. Okay. Got it. Okay. Okay. Uh, okay. Can you see okay. my? Can you see my? Okay. Let's go. Okay. Okay. All right. Okay. All right. So. Yeah. Okay. Okay, so peserta, uh, saya mohon anda uh, buka anda punya uh, Anchor app melalui telefon anda, telefon bibit anda supaya kita boleh follow step by step um, Cikgu Yuwa punya um, tutorial ini. Uh, nanti anda akan ada masa untuk personalize kepada, uh, you know, anda punya uh, apa ni, what you call the topic that you want to teach. But let's just uh, follow him uh, step by step. Okay, Cikgu Yuwa, alright, over to you. Cikgu Yuwa, I'm afraid you are muted, so we are not able to hear you. Okay, how about that? Okay, how about Yeah, yeah, better. Okay, good. Um, I'll mute my laptop. I'll mute my laptop first. I'll see the... Okay, all right. Okay, so now, um, okay. So now, um, I believe all of you got your anchor app ready? Ready? Okay. If yes, okay. So um, as you can see here, this is the. Uh, ini adalah paparan jika anda telah menghasilkan beberapa pod, episode podcast. So kalau ini ini episode baru saya dah ada 27 kali dia telah dimainkan, disiarkan ya. Tetapi jika anda baru install, anda akan nampak begini betul. Nampak tak? Can you see on your phone? This this uh, this thing on your phone? 
Okay, so this visual is called, uh, this part is called record. This is where you record your voice, okay? So, um, I will show you a quick demo on how uh, I, I do my work. Huh? So, um, okay, I will read an example script from my, um, from my podcast, just give me a minute. Later, I will show you the, the, the script template, okay? And now I'll read for you. Give me a minute. Why is it opening? Okay, good. Okay, so pretty now. Okay, all right. Okay, so now I'll show you how to record the voice. Huh? So as I say, I'll keep it close to my phone and I'll record now, okay? Just tap record. Huh? Okay, so over here, you type at background music. Okay, then as you see here, there's many choices. Every one of these music are comparable. So you can use it with more, uh, with, with uh, less, less, less hassle. Huh? And there's, there's many choices. If you want to be like a bit hip hop, a bit big, you can be okay? For example, here. If you prefer like more calm, uh, more calm, you can choose calm. Huh? Okay, now if you want to be like um, uh, a jovial, happy mood, you can choose cheerful. So there's many choices here. So for me, I want to engage my audience. So I will put bits, uh, bits as my sign up. Huh? Uh, I'm, I'm going to choose uh, this. Uh, I'm going to choose. Which one? Which one sounds nice? I'm going to choose uh, melancholy. Ah, this one, yeah. So I'm going to choose caprice. I'm going to choose this and I tap at the plus sign. So automatically it will bind with the audio. They can bersepadu dengan story kita tadi, yeah? Okay. Then, don't be surprised, dia akan mainkan music tiga saat sebelum suara kita masuk dan selepas suara kita tamat, dia akan mainkan music semula ya. So you will see the product. So it's like an intro and an outro, is it? In a yeah. podcast? So it's like okay. Now I did it. I did the. I did the amateur mistake because I speak too close to the phone. I supposed to leave a bit gap. When I speak too close, it you can see it's unclear. But it's okay for um for today's session. Let's do it this way. Okay, so now if you're if you're okay with the audio, you can click save. Type save, and make give it a name. So now you're preparing a segment. So here you can put the name called intro you. Ah, uh, put the intro you Okay, intro you and automatically they will rename the episode as today's date okay okay so while they process while they process you can straight away start your second part okay second part i'm going to continue i'm going to enter my point so same the same step all over again huh? um you read 
um, you before you read, tap record and start. So before you add the background music, you can um, uh, preview your audio just to see, just to hear how, how it sounds like. Okay, it sounds good. Okay, so now let's add a background music here. Yeah? So what if I add this? Okay, I put this, so I'm going to add multi. And automatically, it will add to the background. So the process is the same for every segment. So just to see how how it sounds like. Your audio and voice. Now, if you notice. When I start playing the audio, the background music will be lowered and your voice increase. So it, 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 this is to give the penegasan kepada audio kita. So um, music akan dikurangkan dan suara kita akan dinaikkan suara. Ya? Okay. Kalau semua okay, kita tekan save dan kita tekan add recording to episode. Nampak tak? Dia akan tukar kepada tarik. Jangan risau. Nama episod nanti boleh tukar nanti. Ya? Tak ada mahalah, ya? So add recording to episode, saya akan letak nama ni um, um, apa dia? Intro 2 ya, yeah? intro 2. You can put any other name if you want ya. Yeah? Nama suka dia. Yeah? Add recording to episode. Okay. Sekarang, nampak tak? Sekarang kita boleh, uh, sekarang kita tengok paparan ni ya. Yeah? Kalau kita pergi ke belah, okay, ini ialah voice messages ya. Yeah? Nanti akan ada satu anda boleh percaya satu pautan di mana penonton boleh berfungsi um, feedback secara voice message. Ya, yeah? Okay, belah kat tadi ni swipe to the right. If we swipe to the right, pertama ni library. Semua audio anda yang telah anda telah hasilkan akan berada sini. Ya, yeah? Macam tadi intro dua. Okay, nak, eh, perasan tak? Ada dua kan? Kenapa ada dua? Intro dua. Yang pertama tu suara anda sahaja. Yang kedua tu suara anda dengan music sekali. Okay. Dan kalau kita swipe to right again, swipe right lagi, uh, inilah interlude. Dalam bahasa ini panggil muzik pengantara. Okay, muzik pengantara ini kita guna masa kita ingin macam sambung daripada satu part ke satu part dia. Um, dan anda galakkan masa buat segmen tu jangan record terlalu lama sebab kenapa penonton akan rasa bosan. So try to make it short, maybe one, two, three minutes maximum. Don't make it too long like five or ten minutes. So in between the segment, you can put the interludes, okay? Interlude also just like your background music has many options. There's a um, um, R&B, there's a calm, there's instrumental, there's folk. Okay, so now I want it to look, sounds like glossy a bit. I want to make it like a R&B a bit. I put it. So now I'm going to put this as my interlude. So when I, now when I add interlude episode, it will be added to my episode, okay? So, right now, when everything is done, as you can see here, one list has uh, one list has formed, okay? This is something like your action board, okay? So, this is the first audio you created, intro you are, then intro two, and then the interlude. Now, uh, notice that, perasan tak urutan dia kurang betul, tak kurang tepat kan? Jadi, sekarang, sekarang kita nak letak Elmo Heist ini di tengah, sebab dia wujud pengantaran. Apa kita buat? Kita akan guna use of finger and tap hold a long hold and drag it on top. That's it. And then don't forget to type save. So right now, just as simple as that, you already rearrange your um, segment and intellect music. So now, if you want to see how does it sound, can you see the small icon below the date preview? Type preview. Then, it is sorry.
Okay, Chegu, you are. Is it possible for you to share uh, the link to this podcast onto uh, onto the chat? Maybe if there's a link to the podcast that we can, you know, click that link and then we can listen to the podcast. Is that I, a way? I, 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 oh, okay. This is still in the making. So let's say if you're okay, 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 thank you, thank you for the question, Dr. Uma. So now, uh, if you're happy with the quality of your podcast episode, you want to publish it. So can you see the one at the top right? Publish, type publish. Okay, so over here, you need to do some work, okay? So the first one, the first compartment, the first um, segment is called episode title. This is where you have to give a title to your episode. Now, an important, important information I want to share with you. Yeah, jangan tulis episode satu. Jangan. Don't write episode one. Just straight away write title. Because why? If you write episode one, there's a high possibility your podcast episode will be rejected. So all your hard work will be wasted. So simple as that. Do not write episode one. Just write title. So for example, I'm gonna I'm gonna write here um, intense work is rest. Yeah, intense work is rest. Okay. So um, as you can see here, for title, don't you must not write too long, not longer than hundred characters. Okay, but description, ah, uh, this is where you can write a bit longer. You have about four thousand characters. So over here, this is where you will uh, include your. For example, you say um, um, intense, um, the importance of work. Okay, work is very important. You can write here, work is important to our life and. Um, Work is important. Okay, actually, I I written some other much is a bit too long. But uh, I okay, I appreciate your work is important in our life, and then um so it's like this 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 description is very important so the audience will got to know a preview on what your episode is about. Otherwise, they won't be they won't be in for surprise when they see your podcast. Episode. So when they read when they read your description, they can have an idea what is your episode is about. Okay. Right, so um, son, and then over here, uh, this is what uh, now, this is what you call as a podcast art. As I as you see here, this very podcast art is from Canva. I didn't do much modification. I just took it from Canva. I just put my name there. Ah, see, so uh, this is a podcast art. You can you have option either you can take photo, or you can just choose from existing photo from your phone gallery. Okay, now, now over here season. Now, this, this is your first episode, you can write as season one. Okay. And then your first episode, for episode one. And then for episode type, there's three types. You can do the, you can do a full episode. You can do a trailer episode, where it's a shorter one, is to promote your podcast to others to listen. Or you can do a bonus episode. Bonus episode is like, for example, if you already set your range to be two weeks, in my episode is two weeks once. Okay. Um, let's see. Suddenly, I was thinking, okay, let's make one bonus episode. So maybe uh, one week, one want, want to make a bonus episode. So choose as bonus episode. Okay, but pretty much this is just label. Normally, you'll be using full episode. Okay. Now let's see the description. Now trailer. If you're planning to announce your new podcast on a certain day, so it's like a, like trailer movie, kan? Sebelum tengok movie, tengok tengok, tengok trailer, kan? Sama saja. Trailer sebelum episode anda dilacakan. Okay. Kalau bonus, okay. Bonus ni, you can use couple of ways. To name a few, you can incorporate after shows, deleted scene. Okay. Ini macam, uh, macam ada apa-apa. Okay. So, sorry. Sorry about that. So, bonus ni is like a, um, any extras that you left out in the episode, you can use in bonus episode. Okay. Now, full episode is normal lah. It's your proper episode. Okay, I hope that's clear for you for the three episode. So now we use full episode, and then you have two options. You want to publish, publish a later date. So you want to publish now. The moment I type publish now, it will straight away go to online and try to guess which. Okay, I want to ask you a question. You have learned a few right platform right? There's many many platform out there. Which page will be up? Uh, which platform will be uh, where your episode will be uploaded first? Try to guess. Agaknya di mana, di manakah episod anda akan mula-mula dilancarkan? Try to guess. Anyone? Um, 
Spotify? Correct, Spotify. Correct. Why? Kenapa Spotify? Sebab Anchor is a sub company under Spotify. So any podcast that you made from Anchor will will be released in spot in Spotify within five ten minutes. So besides, okay, now you you see what kind of um okay I'll just change here. So now you see what kind of podcast platform that your episode will appear. Okay. So this is my um I'm just showing you my uh, podcast. This is called Noise Was Sharing. Okay. So as you can see, this is my trailer. For me, my trailer is like I pro I want to use my trailer to promote my podcast. Okay. And this is my all my episode. This is draft. I'm going to do later. So as a, as of now, I got seven episode. Okay. So now under 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 your podcast um uh, uh, part there are three step here episodes money and then uh, money money if you set up anchor payments you can get paid for um sponsored sponsored um slot but as of now as you see it's only available in US so if you set up no use because you're not you're not you're not gonna get paid maybe not for now but maybe maybe in the future hopefully in the future. Maybe we can get use this uh, facility here. Yeah? Now, uh, this is the fun part: analytics. Okay, this is where you can use up the statistic of your podcast. So as of now, I've released for about like two months, and then as 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 you can see here, within the week, I've got one playlist here, and I got nine playlists here, uh, nine plays here, and then go by the month. Okay, um, highest so far is nineteen plays, and here's twenty one. So you can see by the month, three months, and all time. Okay, now if you go further down, you can go to the top episode. Let me see. For the episode, uh, the previous episode, what is your top episode? Uh, which are the most placed? Uh, and this the this the fun part. You can also know from which country your audience listen to. As as you can see here, majority of my audience are from uh, from Malaysia, but I also have audience from India, US, Canada, Australia, Indonesia, UK, Singapore, Belgium. Malta, Japan, Norway, Argentina, and so on. And I even have one from Taiwan and Jordan as well. So as you can see, your podcast is an excellent way to broadcast your knowledge to the world. Just by using your voice and publish, the world will know. Okay, all right. And next, you can also see by the listening platforms. Okay, listening platforms. Uh, which platform does it appear? Spotify, Anchor, Google Podcast, Overcast. So all of these, Will appear all of this, um, so your episode will appear in all of this. But the most late, the paling lambat, they can they can keluar Apple bukan, but Apple ni lazy sikit. They tengok okay sama ni okay kita uh, gambar okay kita audio okay kita kalau kalau semua okay tak lama dari dua minggu selepas episode pertama anda episode anda akan keluar dalam Apple. Yang lain, I think by one day akan keluar ya. Google Podcast, Breaker, Radio Public semua ni ya. Okay, seterusnya anda akan tahu demografik penonton. Berapa umur berapa umur. So, di sini anda akan dapat target content anda untuk mencapai sasaran um, penonton anda. Okay, nampak tak? Saya punya penonton um, bawah 17 tahun tak ada. Tapi lebih kepada usia seusia saya, 28 hingga 24 tahun. Dan juga sampai 60 kata pun ada dengar ya. Dan last sekali ikut jantina. Jadi, kita juga dapat tahu jantina mana yang lebih cenderung mendengar podcast saya. Dari sini um, hampir sama ya. Uh, male dan female hampir sama. Ya. Yeah. Okay. Seterusnya kena tengok um, podcast mana, uh, platform mana akan keluar ya. Okay. So sekarang anda boleh anchor kan. Lepas anda publish, akan keluar di semua ni. Google Podcast, Spotify, Breaker, Podcast dan Republic. So to answer your question dah perlu how to share the link to your podcast is here. Ambil link ini, paste the chat. So people can just stay away, log in and listen to your podcast. Okay. All right. And then, um, okay. All right. So I've done my part. So any questions so far? Any question by Anchor app? Want me to answer? Any questions? Any, any questions? questions? Any Okay, so peserta yang ingin bertanyakan soalan, uh, boleh unmute, uh, boleh tanya. Kalau kurang selesa, boleh uh, boleh tulis juga uh, soalan uh, dalam ruangan chat. Okay, so um, uh, Cikgu Yuva, um, actually um, uh, many of us here are planning to use the flip classroom approach, uh, yeah. you know, and yeah. using podcasting. Um, are you familiar with the flip classroom approach, uh, Cikgu Yuva? Yeah, 
flip classroom okay so flip classroom actually there are three phases of instruction kita ada before class during class and after class so we try to give uh, you know the, the students to be prepared uh, before they come to class so we can use podcasting as uh, you know preparatory uh, materials uh, for example like you know, so based on your session um, the ideas that i have got is uh, we can use podcast uh, maybe uh, before class too uh, we can actually give uh, our lectures maybe but you know as you mentioned um, short ones or perhaps we can do some summaries of our lectures uh, yes. we can do like yes. summaries of our lectures um, other than that um, uh, you know we can have like a weekly discussion maybe we get students to discuss weekly on that topic so that can be also used after class for your reflection where i've always encouraged um, students uh, and lecturers here yeah, to to in, uh, to embed reflective practices at the end of the class so perhaps students can actually record their reflections using a podcast so you know they can prepare a, a, we can give them the question prompts and then you know uh, then they can plan out what they want to uh, prepare and then they can do their own podcast yeah a reflective uh, to just encourage them to be more uh, reflective instead of just uh, using uh, you know a voice recorder app on the phone why not you do a podcast you know maybe a summary of what you have learned all right um, other than that, uh, what, I, uh, what I have in, in other ideas, maybe, let's say uh, we have given them an assignment. Uh, and in media teaching online, sometimes our students are not clear with the instructions. So maybe we can do a podcast, you know, on um, an explanation of the assignment, for example. Instead of, you know, students are, you know, messaging you and asking you again and again. Yeah, you actually have a podcast on how to do that uh, assignment. So maybe it's it, maybe it's a heavy assignment, yeah? assignment yang memerlukan uh, kita sebagai pencara memberikan uh, arahan yang uh, detail dan in-depth. Tapi kita tak nak ulang banyak kali, so kita boleh jadikan dia sebagai bentuk podcast. Ataupun kita can also uh, use it to have detailed explanation of key concepts or technical processes, especially because we are in the TVET uh, sector, we have a lot of hands-on components things. So let's say we want to have something information dense, then we can do that. Um, this enables students to actually, you know, replay and check details. So these are some ideas that I have uh, and maybe later on uh, to participants of our learning designer and content creator uh, workshop, we can have further discussion on macam mana anda boleh menggunakan podcasting dalam PDP anda. So I think, um, Cikgu Yuma, is that all the time that you have? You have a class to rush, I believe? I think I can expect. I can expect. Another 10 minutes. Another 10 minutes. Okay, so saya uh, jemput uh, uh, peserta uh, yang you know sedang menonton webinar ini untuk bertanyakan soalan kepada Cikgu Yuva. Uh, mungkin anda memerlukan idea apa lagi tips uh, beliau telah memberikan kita uh, you know tips. Um, anyone I, I, um, yang ingin bertanyakan soalan? Ya, yeah, betul. Okay, Dini Ha. I think Dini Ha has a question. Dini Ha. Hello. Selamat pagi. Hello. Selamat pagi. Uh, boleh unmute uh, dan boleh bertanyakan soalan. Jangan afraid, we're all here to learn, okay? Uh. Diniha, I think she has a question. Boleh unmute ya untuk bertanyakan soalan. Okay, saya ada satu soalan. Ya, okay. Boleh kenalkan diri anda? Uh, saya Nizam uh, daripada saya PMS. Daripada PMS. Uh, saya tanya Encik Buyuba. Berapa masa yang sebaiknya untuk satu-satu podcast tu? Kita nak buat satu okay. recording tu. Terima kasih. Okay, uh, okay. Uh, terima kasih Encik Nizam. Soalan sangat bagus ya. Berapa lama masa yang diambil untuk uh, merakam audio anda? Okay. Um, okay. Yang pertama, waktu yang sesuai lah waktu awal pagi. Sebab kenapa awal pagi tu kurang bising um, dan jangka masa tu bergantung pada anda. Jika anda mempunyai skrip yang yang bagus dan anda uh, dia, dia bergantung, dia baru berskrip. Kalau skrip anda bagus, anda boleh habis dalam masa um, setengah jam untuk merakam. So it depending on skrip. Kalau skrip anda dah cukup bagus, um, saya rasa dalam masa setengah jam anda boleh habis lah. Saya harap saya menjawab soalan Encik Nizam. Ada lagi soalan tak? 
um, I, I, I'm, I am looking forward to listen to one of your podcast soon. I will subscribe. Yeah. So, siapa yang masih ke podcast, I will subscribe. I will happily subscribe to your podcast. Yeah. Because I believe that when we, uh, untuk to grow, we have to grow together. So, yeah, I'm hoping to see a few podcasters from this uh, crowd pretty soon. Yeah. So, any other question? Chat, chat. Is it a chat? Oh. Um, anyone has any questions? Let's look at. Okey, uh, mungkin ada ada yang tertanya pasal bahasa podcast ya. Anda boleh bercakap dalam bahasa yang anda selesa, bahasa Inggeris, bahasa Arab, uh, bahasa Melayu, bahasa Arab. Tak kisah ya sebab memang di luar sana ada banyak podcast berbahasa Melayu juga. Memang ada bahasa Melayu, bahasa Tamil, bahasa Arab ada ya. So not just English. So don't don't uh, feel um, bad if you can't speak uh, your English language. You can speak language you're comfortable with. Okay, alright. So any question? Okay, we have a question here from Nur Atika. Okay, very good question. Huh? Can the podcast be listened by students who do not install the application? Like YouTube, can we want brother? Very good question, Atika. Okay, now, um, Anchor, you can prepare the podcast to app, but you can also listen to the web. Yeah, so if you go to Anchor, uh, now, uh, if you, okay, if you go back to my phone, there's, uh, there is, okay, um, can I present my phone again? Okay, I'll, I'll present my phone. Yeah, very, very good question, Tika. Very good question. So, I'm going to open my Anchor app again. So, if you want your student to accept, uh, access the podcast, but they don't have the app, okay? So, they can go to, um, can you see the top, the top most here? Anchor FM slash knowledge word sharing. Give this link to your student and they can access it from the web. From the PC or laptop. Okay, I hope I answer question. Um, Atika, thank you. That's a very, very good question. Okay, okay. Any other question, please? So there's a there's a question here in the chat from Inchit Haizal. How can okay. listeners know our podcast channel? How so can does that require? Can... Yeah, how will they know our podcast channel? So I think you mentioned just now, but maybe yeah, you could just tell, tell again. Yeah. Okay, thank you. Tom. Okay, Haizal, very good question. Huh? Okay, uh, how the listener can know podcast channel? So this is where you have to promote your channel. Okay, and they're gonna promote the real, and they will promote. To your social media, anda boleh hantar email ataupun anda boleh share guna WhatsApp. Yeah, that's why the link there pautan sangat penting. Copy pautan tu dan share it to as many as possible. And then um, katakan macam saya, macam anda ingin um, interaksi dengan penonton anda, ya, yeah? anda boleh buka satu page Facebook atau page um, Instagram di mana anda boleh bersua dengan penonton anda. So there will be interaction so that you can improve your content further. Okay, saya berharap saya menjawab soalan anda, Mr. Aizan. Okay, kita boleh rakam podcast, okay, Mr. Raihan ya. Kita boleh rakam podcast ni guna HP saja atau PC. Okay, soalan bagus ya. Ya, boleh. Anda boleh rakam guna PC, tetapi anda kena pergi ke anchor.com. Tetapi masalahnya PC ni agak leceh sedikit ya. <laughs> agak leceh sedikit. Sebab saya pernah cuba rekod guna PC, agak leceh sedikit. Tapi boleh ya. Boleh, boleh ya. Anda kena pergi anchor.fm. Um, sign in, sign, uh, anda kena buat account um, percuma, sign uh, anchor itu. 
sign ni lepas tu anda boleh rakam menggunakan uh, PC. Boleh ya? Kan boleh. Okey, terima kasih. Ada apa ada apa-apa soalan lagi? Okey, uh, mungkin uh, kita boleh tanya kalau ada sesiapa yang mungkin ada idea yang tercetus uh, selepas sesi ini ya untuk okay, berkongsi, um, saya boleh katakan. Uh, saya lupa dengan tambah. Ya. Katakan anda ingin. Ah, Okey, sorry. Okey, katakan anda ingin um, menyiarkan podcast anda di um, siaran podcast yang tak ada di tak ada dalam senarai Anchor. Jadi anda ingin siarkan ke SoundCloud. Okey, SoundCloud malangnya SoundCloud is not covered by Anchor. So, apa anda, anda boleh buat? Dalam Anchor App, ada satu namanya Copy RSS Link Feed. Copy Feed itu, lepas tu anda boleh pergi spot uh, SoundCloud, anda boleh pergi sana dan anda, pokok anda pun akan appear di sana. Okay? So, any more question? Uh, doctor, uh, um, saya rasa, doctor, uh, yes. Doctor, um, can you please like, doctor, um, can you please like, uh, please to, uh, for present, to, uh, for present. Uh, your handphone or? Uh, okay. Computer. Uh, computer. Okay. Okay, just want to yeah, share okay. my. Just want to share my. Okay. Okay, so this to show you, uh, remember I promised to share you my lyric, right, uh, my script, right? Uh, this is how I upload my script. Lah. So before every episode, I will show my script. I will prepare my script. So my intro will, will be the same. Will be the same as first episode. Only thing changes is the, the content, okay? The content will change every episode. And the ending, ujung je sama. Uh, so nampak, so that means that let's, uh, let, uh, maybe for the first episode, you have to do extra work. But for your um, um, next episode, you just have to change the video content because intro and the ending will be the same. Unless you want to make some adjustment, also control. So basically, your script is something like this. Okay. And then, uh, if you want to keep in touch with me, this is my um, chat, my email, handphone, Facebook, Instagram. Okay. You can keep in touch with me. Okay. Alright, I can over. Cikgu Juwa, uh, Cikgu Juwa juga masih single ya, so uh, <laughs> boleh promote kepada kawan-kawan yang lain. <laughs> okay, saya rasa itu sahaja masa yang uh, kita ada uh, bersama Cikgu Juwa. Terima kasih despite your crazy schedule. He's also a PhD student at University Malaya. Uh, and yeah. that's how I met him, uh, you know, because uh, at uh, my former supervisor punya kelas, right? So thank you Cikgu Yuwa kerana sudi um, berkongsi pengalaman ya, uh, macam mana menghasilkan podcasting ya, yang masih baharu ya di Malaysia. Alright, so kepada para peserta, uh, sila isikan borang maklum balas uh, dalam uh, link yang saya telah uh, share dalam chat tadi iaitu bit.ly slash track PDP April, okay? So, uh, Uh, pada kebanyakan peserta kita yang uh, you know tengah berpuasa mungkin penat ya sebab dari tadi dari pukul 8.45 and then sekarang uh, 12.05 so I hope this uh, both the sessions were beneficial to you all um, we will uh, we, I'll see you all at 2.15 and uh, where we will be having a one-to-one -one session with Puan Ana Patiana, uh, Ana Patania and uh, we will actually uh, you know brainstorm a bit about ideas about how you're going to use podcasting and videos in your pdp all right that's all the time we have for now thank you so much uh, cikgu yuwa and thank you to the participants uh, for you know really participating so thank you again bye bye thank you bye bye okay, terima kasih kepada okay, si okay, terima kasih kepada si dan dan doktor dan dan doktor berikan selamat memberikan pelajaran memberikan kalau gitu Baru nampak muka Cikgu Yuwa tu senyum. Mula-mula tu tension sangat kan? <laughs> Alright. So this session can is, can also be watched live uh, on YouTube. I've shared you the link already. Alright. Thank you so much. Bye-bye everyone. 2.15 lah. I'll see you all at 2.15. Alright. Okay. Bye. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.